In the meantime, a group of civil society organizations and election observers in that governorship election has condemned its conduct. The observers addressed a news conference in Lagos. They say the election was characterized by violence and vote buying in almost all the local government areas. They also indicted the Nigeria police force for its inability to provide maximum security for voters. Then how do we have more results coming from an election, you know, conducted under such an eco ecological, you know, situation, you know, to what elections, you know, we had when the ecological condition was normal, when there was no flood, where communities were not relocated, where people have not vacated. I personally witnessed more than 15 communities, not pre on the day of election, you know, between Yenegua, Kolokuma, Kokuma, and Sagbama local government, that people have completely vacated because they could no longer have access to their communities because of the level of water. And you begin to see figures coming in thousands from the same local government. So it calls for... We have always complained about the over-monetization of the electoral process. We never knew that the Sino brother is coming. Over-monetization issue is the case, case the Kasakasa is this ta -ta -ta issue. Hmm. <laughs> and yes, over-monetization, yes, they buy vote, they do this, they do that. People with conscience, at least they vote and go home on hot. But today, what do you have? So the question is not about people jubilating. If we have had incidents of foulness, two, three days before the election. It is enough pointer to every security agency that this part of the state, this part of the state, that part of the state is prone to violence. If there has been killings before the day of election, and then on the day of election, we still had it as bad as we had it, whereby talks freely moved, which is also an, an, an indication that we don't even have a data system in the country.